Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Ask Tanya where you ask me questions and I answer them. If you didn't know already, I do an Ask Tanya at every 1,000 subscribers and I just hit 3,000 the other day, so thank you everyone for that. I love you guys so much. I picked 30 questions out of the 80 that I received, so if I didn't pick your question, I'm really sorry, but if you comment down below, I may pick your question for the next video. And the more questions you ask, the more likely I will pick one of them. Hmm, if I could go anywhere for a vacation, I'd probably go to the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas because I've never been there before and so many people have and I really want to. A lot of you guys ask me how I get my teeth so white, so today I'm going to show you how I do it. So basically what I do is I use Crest 3D White Toothpaste and I brush twice a day, morning and night, and I also use Crest White Strips. This is the speedy two hour one, but you could also use the one month one. I've used both and they are both equally as good. The one month one is a one month process where you like use it every single night for like mm, five minutes I think, maybe it was 10, I don't remember. And you keep them on your teeth and by the end of the month they are white. And for these ones, they whiten in just two hours, but they make your teeth very sensitive. If you have anything that's not room temperature, it burns like crazy. Whereas the one month one doesn't bother you as much. Now these are not very cheap as this one costed like $60. But a cheaper way of whitening your teeth is to not drink beverages like Coke, Pepsi, coffee. Those kind of dark drinks make your teeth yellow. So if you can avoid those, your teeth will actually start getting whiter. And brush your teeth twice a day with good toothpaste. Yes, I do like Selena Gomez as a person and I do like some of her music, not all of it, because I tend to not like very girly sounding songs, but some of them I do really enjoy. I'll have this YouTube account for two years as of this December, and if I could have any pet, it would be a hedgehog. I don't have a favorite type of cheese. I could probably only name like three cheeses, so I really like any kind of cheese, except blue cheese. That stuff is nasty. Ew. Yes, my parents do live with me. I am 17, even though some of you guys think I'm in college, I'm not and I'm still in high school, senior year. My favorite thing about living in Canada is probably how safe I feel here because in every other country, they have like all these dangers that they're always looking out for and I can always feel safe when I'm walking down the street. And of course I love our igloos here. I used to watch The Walking Dead but not as much anymore because I just don't watch TV as much as I used to. And I am a dog person. I'm actually allergic to cats, so dogs all the way. If Joey Graceffa and Strawberry17 subscribed to me, I'd probably freak out because they are my favorite YouTubers and I'd probably pee just a little bit and <laughs> yep. This is a very broad question, but I think my favorite food in general would be chicken Caesar flatbreads at Jugo Juice. They are so good and they're so healthy for you, so oh, beautiful. But my favorite finger food would have to be chicken wings. If I could live anywhere besides Canada or LA, I'd probably live in New York City if it wasn't so scary there with the whole 9-11 thing because yeah, my room is New York themed so <laughs> I'd love to live there. Yes, I do remember you. I tend to remember people who comment on a lot of my videos frequently as well as people who always comment on my Instagram pictures. So if you are one of those people, there's a good chance that I will recognize your username as soon as you comment something. And I consider myself a tomboy, but not as much as I used to be. In like sixth grade, I used to wear like guy board shorts and like total guy clothes, but now I'm getting girlier, but I still consider myself a tomboy. I would not stop doing videos for a million dollars because this is what I like to do, this is my passion, and I would not quit for a million dollars. Yes, I will put you in your video, but I'm not sure about the gaming channel thing because I really want to do one, but I need like a software equipment for that to like screen record and that costs money, so I don't know. We'll see about the gaming channel. I cannot speak any other language as good as I can with English, but I can speak somewhat French, Spanish, and Chinese. Oh, and I can do the ABCs in sign language, and for some reason, that's the only thing I can remember that I learned in grade three. I'm not going to Playlist Live because it's way too far of a flight from where I live, so I'm sorry. I would rather be the person to friend zone them because then I wouldn't get as hurt in the process. My natural hair color is black. I need to get it dyed again. I need to also bring up that my hair looks a lot blonder than it does in real life on video. I don't know why, so it's not actually as blonde as it looks. The only server I play on is MCSG. <laughs> I'm usually on US3 and then I just go on like whatever's open on the lobby thing. So if you guys run into me, play with me, let me know. Or you can also add me on my fan Skype at Skylit Avenue and I can Skype Hungercraft you if you want. The worst thing someone could probably do is just steal food from me. <laughs> I would rather know when I pass away than how I pass away because think about it this way. If you were told that you would die from a car accident, you would probably never get in a car again knowing that that's how you're gonna die. So that way if you know when you're gonna die, then you know it's coming, unlike a car accident thing where like 
you're always afraid of going in cars, so I would rather know when I die. My room is actually not that organized all the time. When the camera's off, it's actually really messy. But my one tip for keeping organized is that while I was creeping YouTube and stuff, I saw all these like really amazing bedrooms, and that's what inspired me to make my bedroom this way. And so I like that it looks really neat and like a New York theme, so when friends come over, they're really like amazed, and I think that's what keeps me motivated to keep it clean. I do not play any instruments currently, but I have played the piano before and I played the saxophone in grade 5 when band was forced and I played the recorder in grade 4 when that was forced too. I'm trying to learn how to play guitar, but that's not going too well so far. And I am not voice talented. You will never see me sing. <laughs> yes, I am planning to go to VidCon 2014. It actually is like on the same week as like my grad thing where we wore like the caps and whatever that little like feathery thing is called. And I actually want to not go to it because I am really short. So if I wear that gown thing, I'll look really stupid. So I might just ditch that and go to VidCon. But there is a 95% chance that I am going to VidCon next year. And yes, I did receive an email about VidCon. My favorite game, video-wise, is The Sims 3. And probably my favorite board game would have to be Monopoly because I just own it that game. <laughs> Yes, I do play Call of Duty, but I've only ever played Modern Warfare 2, which I own, and I am pretty good at that. Until a guy comes over and tries to play against me, then I lose. Okay, here's the thing. If I make a video with a guy, it doesn't mean I'm dating them. So, Cam, not dating him. Ryan, he's dating Ashley. So, okay, if I have a boyfriend, I will let you guys know. I'll do the boyfriend tag or whatever, but just because there's a guy in my video, it doesn't mean I'm dating him because I'm releasing a new video and, like, a day or two and it has a new guy that you guys have not seen yet and don't assume I'm dating him either. And yes, we can be friends. What made me start YouTube is actually a pretty funny story. I used to upload these kind of videos on like Facebook and stuff, but then one day I used a song like that was by like Taylor Swift or something and Facebook deleted it and banned me from uploading videos because it was like copyrighted. So I was like, okay, where can I post my videos now? And I just turned to YouTube and that's how this started. Okay, so there's this one guy who sends me like crazy compliments and they're freaking amazing. Here are some of the screenshots right here. But in person, the most amazing compliment I've ever received from a guy is actually kind of funny too. I was at the fair two years ago with this guy that I used to like in grade five. And we were at like this taco truck thing where they had like the ta little tacos and Dorito bags. And he was like, how many do you want? And I was like, five. And he was like, five? And I was like, don't blame me, I just get really hungry. And he's like, no, no, I was expecting you to order like one and you chose five, that is so sick. So he like complimented me on my like eating, <laughs> so I appreciate him for that. And for the last question, I will give you some hints. So far I have the baby food challenge that is already filmed. I'm not sure when that's going to be uploaded. And I have also done the urban dictionary challenge which will be uploaded tomorrow or the day after. And 10 annoying things girls do will also be uploaded soon. And... I'm not sure. Those are like the newest ones coming up though. Oh, and a vlog where my friend Trice and I went to a kangaroo farm and mini golfing. So that's all for today. Thanks for asking all your questions. If you have any more, comment them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!